Well, it's hard to believe, but New Year's is just around the corner. And we're gonna have to get used to this awkward 2022. And as we think about the approaching New Year, I always have this double whammy because I think about the year past and then within three days I have a birthday. And it's like these landmarks, these these points in my life when I'm called on to examine myself and look inside and look back and look ahead. Janus, you know, is this two-headed God that looks back and looks forward. And I always feel like this moment is a time for great reckoning in my life as I evaluate the past and as I anticipate the future. Well, I was thinking about the writing on the side mirror of a car. Here and in many countries, they have this statement, objects in mirror are closer than they may appear. And I was remembering an occasion when I had just arrived in England with some of my family. And you know the rule, when you come to the curb before you cross the street, look both ways, right? Look both ways before you cross the street. It's very significant in January, as January approaches, this whole idea of looking both ways. We need to look back, we need to look ahead, and we have to have a good perspective before we make our next move. Well, unfortunately, most of us get into a habit. And the habit is that since if we're on one side of the road, we know that we have to look to our left first because the traffic will be approaching on that side. And we can actually kind of anticipate stepping into the road when we turn and look the other way because we know the vehicles are on the other side of the road and we have half the road to step into. It's a, it's a dangerous game to play. Well, the problem is that when you're in England, the vehicles are coming the opposite way. And on this occasion, I kind of took a look and I was leaning into the traffic when I think it was my wife grabbed my shoulder and, and I spun around and uh, over there they call them lorries, but uh, it sure looked like a, a semi to me. And I, I mean, I could read the the small type on the on the grill. The vehicle was right there, and I pulled back, and whew, it just went by and uh, trimmed my eyebrows for me. And I just realized that in a moment I could have been in eternity. So let's think about this now. This whole idea that things could be closer than they appear. The first thing, of course, is that that death could be closer than we think. Right? That's a solemn thought, but it's a real thought. One of us listening to this will be the next one of us to go. And we have no idea who it's going to be. Remember the words of David, 1 Samuel chapter 20 and verse 3. There is but a step between me and death. That was certainly true that day when that big truck just barely missed me as I was pulled out of danger. We recognize this, don't we? I mean, we had our little two-month-old baby. One day it's healthy and happy, and the next day it's in heaven. And a friend of ours just went to heaven, younger than me. I'm really pained with the loss of it. I, I wasn't ready to let him go yet. And... And so we recognize this constant awareness in our lives that every day counts. The words of the preacher who said, I preach as a dying man to dying men, right? I don't know if I'll have another opportunity to do this, and I don't know if my hearers will have another opportunity to hear it. And so this brings a sense of urgency, of importance, of value to every day, because we never know when that day will be the last day. And so death could be closer than we think, and we need to plan for that. We need to number our days. We have no time to waste. But then secondly, and I think this is important, the Lord's coming may be nearer than we think. The apostle wrote to the Romans, knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. This is Romans 
13 verse 11. Knowing the time, it is now high time to awake out of sleep, for now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And he goes on to say, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. And so John warns us, you know, we need to behave in such a way we won't be ashamed before him at his coming. And so death may catch us unawares, but also the Lord's coming. We need to live every day realizing this could be the day. One of these days will be the last day before the Lord returns. And I need to live in the light of that fact that um, the Lord's coming in the mirror, in the word of God, could be closer than it appears. Although certainly as we read the news, as we see what's going on in the world, it seems like it's getting really close. And then the third thing, this is so important to lay hold of this. These are the beautiful words from the 46th Psalm, verse 1, the Psalm for the sons of Korah. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He's standing by. He's right there. He couldn't get any closer. He's in the moment with us. Whatever the circumstances of life, I don't have to call him up long distance. I don't have to think of him as being far away from me. He draws near. We feel the everlasting arms underneath. We know that he is there. So this idea that when we look into the mirror of God's word, we see quite clearly our responsibility to number our days because we never know when it will be the last one. And we also recognize that the Lord's coming is nearer than when we believed. Every day, we're a day closer to that moment. And one of these days, one shout and I'm out. It's going to happen and we're going to see him face to face and be with him forever. And then thirdly, this idea that the Lord is a very present help. He's standing by. And so don't think of him as far away. We don't always sense his nearness, but we have the fact of his nearness. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so may the Lord encourage us as we stand at the threshold, we look back over the past year, we look ahead into the unknown future, and we recognize that God is over all, and that we're trusting him. And we need to be aware of these three things that could be nearer than we think, could be closer than we imagine. And one of them is our passage from this world into the next. And the second is the coming of the Lord. And the third one is the nearness of the Lord standing by, ready to help in time of need. <music>